Hey, Justin. Uh, Jonathan Alexander with Shot Observer. You know, I hope you're doing well, man. Um, uh, recently, Matt Rule was, was really complimentary of you. Um, and he mentioned that you're somebody who, you know, that he thinks they should build a, um, a team around. You know, what are your thoughts on that? Um, you know, has he told you that? And, and what do you think you've been doing to prove that? Um, I think Coach Rule has really been pushing me to become a, a more of a leader, more vocal. Uh, I'm a guy that, you know, doesn't talk too much, um, you know, kind of keeps things close to the vest, um, you know, especially compared to other guys on the team who are, you know, who have that vocal uh, leadership experience. But I think he's trying to pull that out of me. Um, but as far as, you know, his praise, I, I really do appreciate that. Um, you know, still a long way to go. Um, still, everybody's still learning, you know, exactly what he wants, um, exactly how he wants his team ran. And I'm just trying to abide by that and, you know, continue to give him exactly what he wants. Justin, it's Joe Person at The Athletic. Uh, you guys, very obviously, no one's got a preseason game that a day like today, where Matt looks like he's kind of setting it up as at least close to game like situations, do you, I know it's not the same, but do you sort of try to make it, you know, close to a preseason game? Oh, definitely. Um, you, and today he was going through situational football, um, and he's a he's a big guy on you know winning those situations, um, winning the turnover battle, and, and not beating ourselves and things like that. And, you know, he's trying to instill in, instill in us uh, during practice, um, get us thinking on those situations. You know, it can't just be on the coaching staff to know the situation and, and you know, what we need to do uh, to win the game. Um, it has to be in us, and we have to know exactly what's going on. And I think uh, that's, you know, in the meetings that we have, uh, trying to teach us and, and trying to help us learn and learn that. And um, it, it's just great to be around somebody who's trying to teach us the game. Justin, this is Nick from NBC. Um, what did last year do for you? You know, making, I think, nine starts, the, the productivity you had there. What did that do for you in terms of carrying some momentum uh, into this year and, and for your career? Uh, I think it just gave uh, validation. You know, uh, not at all do I think I've arrived at all. Uh, I'm still working hard. I'm still uh, hungry and, and humble and, and, you know, grateful to be here. Um, but I think it just gave validation um, into my mind and to others that, you know, I'm supposed to be here. Um, I deserve to be here and that I'm going to keep working to stay here. Um, you know, I always knew that I, that I could play in this league. I always knew that I could I could be a guy that the team counted on. And I just had to go out and prove it. I had to go out and show it. And I think, you know, last year uh, I was able to do that. And I'm just trying to, you know, you know, do it even better this year, do it on, you know, 10 times better than I did last year and just keep improving. And, uh, you know, I want to help the Carolina Panthers win. Justin, yeah. Nick Etzenberg with the Charlotte Observer. I was wondering, is there anything specifically like you learned from your experience last year that you're kind of improving on specifically this year or maybe something that, you know, you thought helped you perform better last year? Uh, I think the biggest thing I learned is just don't take a rep for granted. Uh, don't take a, a, a game. Um, don't take anything for granted. Um, I was I was in a situation last year where, you know, I really wasn't counted on in the beginning. You know, nobody really uh, thought I would be there. And then, you know, I just kept grinding every day. Um, you know, I kept impressing, you know, the coaches and kept impressing um, the front office staff um, to earn a spot on the team. And that just kind of showed me, you know, that, it, it, you know, you got to take every day and, and, and run with it and, and do your best and, and, you know, grind hard every day. So that, that's just that's the biggest thing I learned last year is, is man, just take every every rep seriously, take every rep because, it you know, it could be the one that, that gets you there or, or, or takes you back. Justin, what kind of uh, – I'm sorry, this is Miles Simmons from Panthers.com. Uh, what kind of impression have uh, Troy Pride and Jeremy Chin made on you in, in the secondary? I mean, a, a big impression. Guys that came in and the moment's not too big for them. Um, they're rookies, but you wouldn't you wouldn't think that by the way they um, approach the game, um, by the way they interact, um, by the way their um, their demeanor on the field. Um, they're another they're another duo that knows that they they should be here. They deserve to be here, 
And I think they're taking that approach and they're, um, they're, they're, they're really mature beyond uh, where, you know, where you would think a rookie would be at this time. And uh, it's refreshing to see. And, um, you know, those guys coming in, they're really going to help this team. Hey, Justin, uh, Jason Huber with WFMZ. How much has Trey Boston spoken with you guys about Thieves Avenue and, and kind of keeping that culture going? Uh, that I'm still learning about that. Uh, we're still trying to get into that. Uh, um, you know, obviously I wasn't here last year and, you know, they have, um, a, a, a mindset, a mentality that I'm still trying to learn. I want to learn from those guys, um, from what they want to see. Um, because I'm, I'm a new guy coming into this, but, uh, you know, I want to have that same mentality. I want to have, I want to bring the same, um, mindset that they did, um, last year and, and go out and get the ball. And uh, so I'm still I'm still learning on that, and I'm um, still trying to get to, to get to that. Hey, Justin, Phil Orban from Channel Nine here in Charlotte. Um, I'm wondering what tomorrow night's going to be like for you. You haven't had any preseason games. Fans haven't been out um, to watch practice at all, and this is kind of your opportunity to to play in front of fans in a way. I'm just wondering if there's any kind of extra excitement, and 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 even just like kind of practicing in prime time. Uh, it's definitely definitely a lot of excitement. Um, I don't think it's any different than other scrimmages we've had um, be, because people are, are actually watching now. Uh, I don't think anybody should do anything different. I think it's a time to, you know, kind of help guys get into that game mode. Um, but I think, you know, the way coach rule sets up every practice is, is game situation is game. Like, so I, I don't think it should be any different uh, as far as our mindset, as far as our mentality, uh, just got to go out there and play football. Um, but yeah, it is going to be exciting to have, actual people, you know, watching. Hi, Justin. Bash Tiger with Carolina Blitz. I know today at practice you guys went through some more situational type, um, had more situational type practice. What did you see from the secondary group that you liked? Um, a lot of guys flying to the ball, flying around. Um, you know, maybe if we didn't win a situation, we, we weren't getting down on each other. Uh, we were still hunting the football, still trying to get um, get to the football, get get the ball out. Um, and I think we can we can win with that. We can win with guys who are going to you know run to the ball and guys who are going to attack the football. Um, we still need to go and, and learn and, and learn from our mistakes and learn uh, learn how to get better. Um, but seeing the mentality that we have, seeing the, the the fast and physical, and the guys running to the football, we can we can win with that. Just so us also, I see you wearing a Hornets shirt. Are you a Hornets fan? Have you been a Hornets fan? And what do you think I'm, about the third pick in the draft? I'm a North Carolina sports guy, so, you know, anything that has to do with North Carolina, um, you know, I'm a big Devontae Graham fan. He went to Broaden High School, uh, so, you know, I, I have it in my blood. You know, North Carolina sports is all in my blood, so, yeah, I am I am a Hornets fan. Hey, Justin, you're a Raleigh guy. Uh, there where the state capital is. What's your read on whether the governor is going to sign off on fans for you guys this year? Uh, what's my thoughts on it? I, I you know I don't I don't know uh, haven't really got into all that I hope I hope he does you know if it, if it's the right thing to do if it's the safe thing to do um, and if not you know we're gonna bring our own juice we're gonna bring our own energy and um, you know we're gonna play great for each other and you know we're gonna bring everybody up and, and hopefully bring our own juice to uh, whether we have fans or not. On that topic, a couple coaches, including Sean McDermott, have been saying this week they don't think it's really fair for some teams to have fans and others not. Where do you come down on that? Uh, once again, I don't, I don't really have a, a say on that. You know, if it's safe to do, um, I'm hoping, you know, fans are able to enjoy the experience with us. And if not, you know, it is what it is. Um, but hopefully they'll be watching from home. And, you know, once again, we're just going to bring our own energy and, and bring our own juice to the game. Justin, Mike Solartang with Spectrum News One. The the fact that you guys don't have preseason games, that's kind of the – it's always seemed like that's the break in camp where you don't have to look at the same guy across from you in drills and, and that sort of thing. Is this camp feeling more like a grind, more of a grind, I should say, than normal than previous camps you've been in because there is no real break? Or is it kind of – because everything is so different and everything is so new – because of the procedures and protocols and you guys have a new coaching staff is, is the day to day a little bit different and keeping you guys energized and, and 
helping you guys maybe discover that juice that you you'll need to bring more than likely without fans in the building once you guys get started no i i don't think so uh i think because we didn't have otas uh we didn't have we didn't see each other in the building we weren't going against each other um for those two months uh whatever it is i think guys are still learning to play with each other guys are still learning um how each other you know works and plays and talks to each other and so in that way, it, it hasn't been a grind. It hasn't gotten uh, monotonous, if you will. Um, so in that way, you know, we're still learning. We're still learning uh, with each other. So everything, every day is uh, a new journey. Everything, um, every day is a new event that, you know, a new situation that we have to um, get through. So no, not, I don't think it's been a grind in that, in that way. We got time for a couple more guys. Hey, Justin, it's uh, Vincent from the Right Report. I was just wondering what you've seen from the various guys competing for that number two corner spot and how you think that kind of position group in the secondary whole, as a whole are starting to sort of come together. Uh, I think everybody's competing. You know, I, I think, um, you know, everybody's striving and everybody's you know, wants to be on the field. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a friendly competition. You know, it's, it's no ill will, no bad blood. Guys are, are uh, hyping each other up, you know, once one person makes a play, it feels like everybody makes a play. Um, you know, one guy gets an interception, we're all running down and and um, hyping that person up. So it's, it's definitely a, a family environment, it's a friendly environment, and, uh, you know, we're just we, – we love to see each other um, succeed. Justin, you're from the Carolinas. Do, do you feel like you guys are catching a break uh, with the weather this year? Do you tell guys this is kind of unseasonably cool? Yeah, it has been. It's uh, it's been rainy this past week. Uh, It has been pretty cool um, for practices. Uh, I know I've never been down to Spartanburg, but I know a lot of guys uh, have been talking about how hot it is. And, um, you know, I guess we're kind of lucky in that sense uh, to not have that that heat. Um, But, yeah, we have gotten lucky with the weather.